time and we'll try and get an answer to where that minute has gone for uh, in due course. The next driver through then after Kopetsky is going to be Kali Rock and Pera, uh, who is pretty much the benchmark now, isn't he, in RC2, Mike? Absolutely, he's cruising in the uh, WRC2 Pro. Uh, in fact, he's probably the only one there that's not doing the event so far in this game. I suggest right some four seconds down on that on him. Sunan had a puncture and went wide at the beginning, couldn't keep the car on the stage, so he got a puncture. So he's dropped over a minute. Here now is coming through uh, 25 because it's been bad off that guy. see where he can get himself to by the end of the event. So Elfin Evans, 14, 47.7, the fastest time. We've somewhat yet to call got time through some of the RC5 drivers. And he's the bowl, count 23, this is Pierre Mimi Duve, 12 overnight, he's the RC2, Skoda, and you're the RC5. And we'll put the RC2 times in context in a moment. Two, you've got Nikolai Grajin, who is the runner-up in Corsica. Big, big talent here, the uh, young Russian driver coming up over the jump, down into the bowl now. 13 Okay. Now the Kaiser Solberg farewell tour is something we're enjoying this weekend. I'm not seeing the back of it, but we're enjoying seeing it. And here is the RC2 Polo. He is the great head of Solberg. He's won this event four times. He's a world champion. He's done the world champion. He's done the world champion. He's done uh, we'll see him again later in the day, all being well. The next driver that's going to be through is Tom Cave, who will be a lot of support as well. Another uh, emerging talent, runner-up in the British Championship this year, won the Pirelli in the Galloway Hills Rally 15 overnight. And yesterday, Rather like when Sebastian Loeb and Sebastian Ogier were coming through the junior ranks, they obviously rate him very, very highly. So the ones that are missing are Gus Greensmith that we knew about. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happened to Mount Osberg. No, no need to watch Mount Osberg. He finished the stage in 1457.6 and that puts him 4.4 seconds adrift. He's lost another three seconds to Thierry Nerval, so he will be um, firmly in fourth place now. Fastest, I would offer you, he's going to be where Tana slots in. And it's going to be interesting to see what the gap is. The gap, the gap first, second, and third is going to be really tight. Yeah, that's what's it, won't it? Absolutely. Right, Otto Solberg is the driver that we're anticipating next. And then behind him, there is uh, Marco Balashi Wilkinson, and then Takamoto Katsuta has left the line as well. Well, there is Balashi Wilkinson. So, where is Solberg? He's given a start time, but he's not got to pass, which is a bit of a concern. Okay. 